Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Right now, things are getting so heated up already as ZANU PF has sent intense warning to Nelson Chamisa, who happens to be the main opposition of Emerson Nangangwa. Guys, I'm about to give you all the entire details about what the warning actually comprised of, and before I do that, kindly follow Jam Vibes, please like this video, drop a comment, and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. ZANU PF has warned the opposition Citizens Coalition for Change against taking any action which may likely cause an uprising in the name of democracy. The remarks were made by Foreign Affairs Acting Minister Amon Murira when he addressed the African Union ambassadors affiliated to Zimbabwe in Harare some days ago. Apart from exonerating governments from the CCC, recalls and saying they can only be reversed by self-proclaimed Secretary General Sengezo Shabango, Murira subtly accused CCC leader Nelson Chamisa of undemocratic conduct. Referring to Chamisa's refusal to accept results of the presidential election in the August 23rd harmonized election, Murira said, and I quote, It is a matter of public record that one presidential candidate in the just-ended harmonized elections declared well ahead of the polls and brazenly in the presence of election observers and the media that a candidate will not abide by any other result except one which pronounced the candidate as the sole winner. Indeed, this was the second such instance in which the candidate made such a declaration. Sadly, violence ensued after such a declaration in 2018. This type of conduct is an attack on our democracy, constitutionalism, and the rule of law. Regrettably, some countries have tended to support this undemocratic conduct. As in previous instances, government will not tolerate any actions aimed at disturbing the peace under the guise of democratic political processes. He as well said Zimbabwean law enjoins the Speaker of the National Assembly and the President of the Senate to promptly act on any and all communication from political formations brought before them to effect a recall. Murira proceeded and I quote, Neither official can or may cause, amend or block any such communication once placed before them. Again, it is downright false to impute responsibility for any recalls on the two presiding officers or even to suggest that they have the remit to withdraw any such commun communications. Only authors of such communication can cause a reversal, Murira as well spilled. He also claimed that there are no political prisoners in the country. Despite the opposition alleging that Former Zengeza West legislator Job Sikala, who has now clocked over 400 days in jail, is one of them. Political analyst Rejoice Nguenya described Murira's remarks on Chamisa and recalls as garbage. I quote what he said. The constitution says elections ought to be free and fair. Observers reported that elections were not free and fair, so end of story. Constitution allows us to demonstrate peacefully. Have we been afforded that opportunity? ZEC, that is the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, must be independent, right? When Zengezi tried to recall, Ed, what happened? So the speaker is a koibok that responds to any letter from the streets? CCC spokesperson Pramis Mkwananzi could not be reached to comment on Murira's statement some days ago and all of these things have actually left so many people in high disturbance. Without necessarily judging, I want you to tell me in the comment section your honest opinions based on what you think and how you feel or what is ongoing already in Zim. I love you all so dearly. Do all to take good care of yourselves and most importantly, come back here for more just and vibes and do not leave here without sharing this video to the ends of the world, please.